friends to my old ones and my new ones i hope you guys are doing well my eyes are super red i forgot to put in my eye drops and i left them upstairs so we're just gonna deal with that red eyes um today we are going to be playing with the long overdue on my channel the norvina palette hues this is the one that out of her four that I like the most. Um, I know that there's already tons of videos. I am way behind. Um, it took me forever to get this. I have had it for a while. I just uh, was wanting to play with other things. This, for some reason, although it did call my attention when I first saw it um, on Trend Mood, um, once I received it, I was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. But I do, I do want to play with it. I do want to kind of get a look out of it and uh, see how it performs and and I do think it's so beautiful. That color, oh my gosh, dude, it's stunning. So I am gonna go in with a color from my um, Makeup Obsession palette. It is this color here, and that is because she doesn't have a really light color that isn't glittery. Like the lightest color she has, that's what I said. The lightest color she has in the palette is this, but I want something like this. More, yeah. Oh, he's bringing me things he's finding on the floor. Um, I yes, yeah, so I wanted just something a little bit lighter. Um, this one is so is really. I don't know if it's coming across the way I am seeing it in person, but the one in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette is very shimmery. That's this one. And this is the one in the Makeup Obsession palette. As you can see, it's less shimmery, but it does give you some uh, light to your eyes. And that is what I want. So I'm taking this Sephora brush. I don't even know where I got this from. It's not my favorite brush, but it does the job. And he's just playing with everything that he can find and put his hands on. No, no, no. Okay, so yes, I'm gonna go into. Ah! No. Oh my gosh, this is just like a mess. I swear, like I cannot. Okay, so. No, no, no. It's mommy's. Um, we're going into, it's called Glow Baby in this palette by Jordan Bell. Or Bell Jordan, sorry. Lorenzo. Ay Dios. Oh my gosh, this kid is killing me. So I'm just going to take this into the inner corner. I need some brightness because my eyes, I literally look like I'm, I'm not. I don't know why my eyes are so stinking red. I think because I use the brightening eye drops when I don't use them, I notice the, how big of a difference it makes. So we're done with this palette. Um, and now we're going into the Norvina. Um, this is, I know this is the number four, but Pro Pigment Palette number four, volume four. Um, I know you guys have seen swatches from every, you know, every single time I'm doing swatches, this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> I love this palette. Um, so while I play with this, and because like I said, I know you guys have seen a lot of videos. You don't need my commentary, and I'll tell you at the end what I think of it. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a little story time on my experience trying to order the new palette by... Pat McGrath. Okay, so I'm gonna make this super, super duper clear. I love Pat McGrath. I love her brand. I love her makeup. I think that it is worth it, in my opinion, um, which is just my opinion. Um, I'm gonna go into A4. Now he's throwing things at me. Um, so I went on to, I was not going to order it. I had absolutely no intentions 
I saw it launch day. Didn't even go on the website. Uh, next day, I saw um, video, you know, people posting, oh, it's still available. Get, um, you know, I think 10% was still off the, available the next day. Go and get it. And I still was just like, eh, whatever. That's kind of weird that it's still available because I expected it to be sold out like way quick, just like the original um, one was. And when that didn't happen, I was just kind of like, huh, that's strange. So finally, I think it was like the third day after it had launched, I caved and went and looked. And I looked at the palette and I was like, I own every single one of her palettes. I do, I own every single one of her palettes and I am a collector. And so I didn't want to not have it. I didn't want it to um, go out of stock and never come back. Um, I know it took her a really long time to to put the original um, rose one, I can't remember exactly what it's called, in stock, but I got that one when it launched. So I wasn't, <sighs> yeah. So I just ended up caving and getting it and I was just like, oh, I really like it, it's so pretty. And um, so I thought, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna get it and uh, so I log on. Oh my gosh. And then I, okay, I don't know if it, it maybe some of you ordered it as well. I'm not sure. I went onto the website and I saw the very first palette on the website was, you know, Rose, whatever, um, limited edition, blah, 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 blah. Quick clicked on it, put it in my cart, ordered it. And then I got my order confirmation and I was like, wait a second. And I clicked back um, and I got out of my email and then I went back into my email and I was like, wait, hold on a second. So I look and I realized that I had actually, which I did not know, I had reordered the original Rose palette. It, they had released it with uh, with special packaging, with limited edition, limited edition packaging. I had no idea that they were even doing that because I didn't see that anywhere. I didn't see anyone, um, I mean, I'm, maybe they did, but I didn't see it. I didn't see Trend Mood post about it, um, that there was gonna be limited edition packaging for the new Rose, or the old Rose palette, and the new Rose palette, like the pink or whatever. Um, I saw that the new one was going to have that limited edition pink, but I did not know that the old one was going to as well. So I saw that and immediately assumed that it was the new palette. I'm freaking out because I have that already. I don't want it again. Um, and then I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. My mistake. I didn't, I should have paid more attention. It is not their fault. I made the mistake of not reading what I was buying. I'm not great at numeral numbers. I didn't know which palette it was. I don't keep up with the numbering system of what she uses it. I guess the newest one is number eight. I only know this because I actually, you know, messaged back and forth with Pat, Pat McGrath the last couple of days. Um, so I go on there and I'm like, okay, so what do I do? Shoot, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And at this point I'm kind of like, not just, I'm annoyed at myself. I'm annoyed at the website for not making it a little bit more clear. Like why would the old palette be the first palette on their website? You think the newest one would be the first palette shown when you click on, cause it says um, shop the new launch or whatever. And so you would think that they would um, have the new palette be what is the first thing you see 
when you click on that along with like all the lipsticks and whatever else she she dropped at the same time well no the first palette that pops up is the old one and so i'm like okay well you know what this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna order another one and the one that comes um i'll just return it and then I thought, and if I like it enough, I'll just keep it. Because I really, the, out of all of hers, I think that one is the most wearable and the most user-friendly user palette. Um, so, I'm, no. I, um, go back on. And I click on what I think is the new palette. Again. And I see that the pink one, the one with the limited edition packaging is sold out. And that um, the one available is just the black packaging, um, the original Pat McGrath packaging. So I put, put it in my cart, order it, set aside. And then I'm like, wait a second, hold on. So I go back onto the email my, my order confirmation and I ordered it again. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if it was a glitch in their system because when I went back onto their website, not even two minutes after, not even a minute after they were all sold out. So I have two of the original rose palettes coming. Okay. Keep in mind, I messaged them, emailed them, texted them, sent pigeons, sent three-legged donkeys, everything to get their attention before they could ship this. Because if you have ordered from Pat McGrath's website, as many of us have, you do not get your stuff quick. And I have ordered things from them that have taken weeks to get. So I was like, oh, they're going to have plenty of time to, to cancel this order, like before they ship it to me and, or at least maybe not cancel it. I didn't want it canceled. I just wanted it exchanged for the palette that I wanted, the new one. I'm loving this eyeshadow, by the way. It is blending so nicely. It's pretty. The only thing is, is this glitter, this shadow, the A5 is going like all over my face. Can you see that? Like it's like literally everywhere. And I can I have a feeling that as soon as I start to brush this away, that it is going to um, just kind of blend into my skin. Yep, and that's exactly what it did. Okay, it's fine. So um, I email Pat McGrath on Instagram. I email her, there's an also another person you can message on Instagram, which is like, Pat McGrath customer care. Um, in, they have their own Instagram. I message them um, because I've already been dealing with them with another palette that I received that was broken. And so I'm like, okay, well, I still haven't re um, received any kind of resolution on um, that palette that was broken. And so I'm annoyed about, about that, but I um, it wasn't like shattered. It was just one eyeshadow that was that was in like pieces. I was able to like push it back into place, but still for $125 actually with taxes and shipping and whatever else they're charging, it comes to $134. So for that, I expect my palette to come intact. I'm not spending $5 and so if I'm spending five bucks on a palette and it arrives broken, eh, I'm not like gonna cry. I'm gonna be annoyed because it's still five dollars, it's five dollars, but I'm not going to be as uh, upset over what I spent because, you know, because it came broken, but it's, it's like five bucks, like it's okay, I'm not gonna die. I can call them usually companies like profusion and and those companies if you receive a palette that's broken um as long as you send like a picture and proof of purchase in the email picture they will 
you know, either refund your money or replace your product. Um, I emailed them and I told them that, and they said that it was too late, that, um, <laughs> that the orders had already, sh you know, that their processing time is like lightning fast and, um, their fastest <laughs> donkey already had my order on its way here. And so I'm like, I email, I message them back. And this is the one that's on face or on Instagram. I message them back and I'm like, well, how is that so? Like, first of all, um, I just ordered it last night. I haven't even received an email confirmation. Or I received an email confirmation in the order, but I haven't received shipping confirmation. So like, how is it already shipping? And I said, and there has to be something you guys can do. I'm like, I've, I've done this with, um, Charlotte Tilbury. I had, and it wasn't a mix up with the order product itself. It was a, sh a mix up with the shipping address and I had ordered it and I accidentally shipped it to the wrong place, my old address. And Charlotte Tilbury's team canceled my order. We did it without, char I, I didn't pay anything extra. They canceled my order. They resubmitted it and shipped it to the right address. So how were they able to do something like that? But, but I couldn't get, um, you know, Pat McGrath's team to cancel an order that was placed literally that same day to, um, to not send me two of the same pallets. I was just so confused. And so my stupid self, did you know? I hadn't spent enough money already. Um, gets on the website and I'm like, well, at this time I didn't know that they had already all sold out. Um, and I was like, well, freak, forget it. I'll just order it again. And I will just send back these ones that are coming. And they were all sold out. So I'm messaging with Pat McGrath and I'm like, okay, hey, um, can you please help me? I have purchased I've placed an order for a product, one that I already have, two that I I placed two orders for it and um, by mistake, because I was confused by the website. Is there any way you guys can cancel one of them? I'll even keep one. Can you just cancel one and send me the new palette? Um, and I didn't get a response from her right away. I think it took like a day, like a day or two. I can't remember how long. And she's like, okay, let me check. You know, see, let me see what I can do. Like what, what's happened. Um, and the like response I got was, okay, so this is what I can do. I can, I'll sell you one. And I was like, okay, but the thing for me is like, I honestly like, I, I, could, I could have, but that's a lot of money. It's like 400 and something dollars that I won't have access to anymore. And that's a lot of money. Ordering two of those pellets for me was a stretch. So I messaged her back and I said, you know, I, although I really, really appreciate that, um, I cannot afford to buy three pellets in one day. I said, my message was to see if you would possibly be able to cancel one of those other orders and or ex and exchange it, um, not even cancel it, just fix, like change the order itself, like the product that's coming to me. Um, I don't know. I also, you know, to be fair, don't know how this process works on the other end as the, so, person that's selling the makeup because I don't sell makeup. I don't work at a warehouse. I don't understand how fast and stuff, how that works. However, I do know the, the product wasn't shipped yet. You know, at the very least, that's what I knew. I knew that was not uh, shipped. So, um, 
I figured that they should be able to help me. And she, you know, so I messaged her and told her, you know, I'm not able to purchase three, three pallets. Like that's a real stretch for me. That's a lot of money to be placed on hold until I one receive your other pallets and then ship them back. And then it takes, you know, however many days to receive my refund and, and all that stuff. And I'm just like, this is, it's just too much money to not have access to right now. Like, um, and so right now I'm in limbo cause she just messaged me and said, um, I'll see what I can do. And that was the day before yesterday. Um, I didn't bother her yesterday cause it was blackout Tuesday. And I thought, you know, I'm, that was kind of like the last thing I was actually even thinking about as well. And then I checked my Instagram this morning. I'm like, Oh, maybe she's emailed me back to like, let me know, like what she can do to help me. And now what I see in my emails, is that my original old, original rose palettes have shipped. <sighs> and so my only way, and yes, I know, I know this is my fault. I was the dummy that didn't pay attention to what she was ordering. Somehow got stuck ordering two of those palettes. I you know, out of the first time it was out of pure, like just not reading what I was ordering. I just assumed that the first palette would be the one that was the original. I saw the pink packaging and thought, okay, that's it. And then it wasn't until after I ordered it that I looked and saw, well, look, that weird one, the weird colored one isn't in that picture. And then I looked at the other one and I'm like, oh shoot, I ordered the wrong stupid palette. Um, so I just don't know how it happened again because I went on there and I like made sure that I clicked on the, um, that I clicked on the, I thought I made sure that I clicked on the new palette. And then I thought, okay, well maybe if they don't want to do all that, maybe they'll switch it. Cause they had another one where you could buy the bundle, which is the original and then the new one together for like 200 and something bucks. And I thought, okay, maybe, Maybe I can do that. Maybe they'll be willing to like, just switch it out for that order. Nope. All I kept getting was emails from her customer service telling me there's nothing they can do to help me. There's nothing they can do to help me. There's nothing they can do to help me. I would ask questions and then they would just respond with there's nothing they can do to help me. Um, and I was just kind of like, are you effing? F Dude, I'm asking you questions like, and then the girl tells me, and it's out of stock. So yeah, you, there's no way you're going to get this palette anyway. So I don't know what you want. And then I said, what do you mean you're out of stock? You guys are going in stock to, at Sephora on the 15th. So you have to have palettes. And she messages me back. Well, then keep an eye on what's in stock at Sephora, exclamation point, exclamation point. I was like, wow, are you yelling at me? Like, I take exclamation points like, are you serious? Like, you're getting loud? Wow, that just like blew my mind. I just couldn't, I just was so like stunned kind of by the, not kind of, I was completely stunned. Pat McGrath is completely graceful and, and so sweet and so nice. Um, with wanting to help me and she was responding to me pretty quickly, which was so nice of her because I'm sure she's like a super busy, busy person. And, you know, I was just so overjoyed that she even responded to me, but, um, her team's got a little bit of an attitude. I don't know. Am I tripping? But I take exclamation points. Seriously, do not yell at me in an email. Don't exclamation point me. Like, what the hell? I didn't exclamation point them. I just wanted to know, how are you gonna tell me you're out of stock when you're gonna be in stock at Sephora? 
in freaking 10 days. And yes, I can wait. Like, it's not a big deal. I just don't want to get stuck with two of those palettes, send them back, have to wait like 14 days for my refund because I'm not rich. Like, that is a lot of money to be tied up in two palettes, you know? But it is what it is. It's already tied up in two palettes. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to have to see if Pat McGrath is uh, feeling super generous and wants to just send me a free palette. <laughs> or I'm just going to have to wait until it comes to Sephora, which everybody, if I'm like really trying not to buy things from them, there's a couple of things that I use on a daily basis that the only place they sell them is at Sephora, which one of them is my my hairspray and uh, I'm kind of annoyed because I'm out of it and I've been not wanting to buy it. So my hair has just been like flat to my freaking head. Um, I really like this hairspray because I can't think of the name of it um, because it gives me volume but it doesn't give me stiffness and I've, it's very rare and hard for me to find a hairspray like that. So I decided not to do lashes today. I am just gonna go with my natural little puny lashes um but i do not want to leave this video without the message that i should have conveyed in the beginning which is i'm with you i am angered as well as everybody else that uh about what is going on in this country right now um the horrific acts of president trump um deploying tear gas and you know um rubber bullets on peaceful protest literally minutes after saying that he is the ally to peaceful protesters um i am furious at the way that the government treats people of color I know I am a person of color. I have children that are, we're Mexican. I mean, we know what it is like to be discriminated against and what it's like to be treated like animals. They have a camp in Texas holding children like they're animals. So I just want you guys to know that I hear you, I'm with you. I feel your pain firsthand. I understand it. I've dealt with it. I have felt it. So stay safe out there. Be careful. Who knows what the world is going to be now? Because they say there's going to be a whole new normal. But like I said, stay safe. And um, I will see you guys in the next one.